I'm ready to go live. <laughs> Hello, it's Jane. How are you? I'm just making sure everything's on, on, on. Right. Oh, it's very exciting. For, for a start, this is earlier than I usually do a live stream. And uh, because it's a special day, and because it's with Creative Expressions, and they're in the UK, I, you know, trying to find that time that suits, sort of, <laughs> a fair few people around the world, this is the time. So here we are. And uh, I've got really exciting things to show you. Now, last night, I did a little sneak peek in my um, Facebook group. And that's what I, 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 if I've got something that's a little bit secret, uh, that's where I sometimes do a little bit of a live stream or a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing just to, in all honesty, to relieve the pressure on myself. It's really hard keeping secrets when you're excited about something. Anyway, the Skinny Dip collection has arrived. So I'm just going to pop that there, so it's out of the way. I'll just show you exactly what we're talking about. So Skinny Dip is an ink collection that I've been working on for quite a long time that I've been wanting to do for a long time. As you know, I love drawing people, especially faces and especially uh, whimsical faces. I've written books about it, I've uh, drawn them every day and it's just, well it's just my favourite thing to do and uh, recently I've gotten back into my life sketching habit so that's where you go and draw someone that's standing in front of you with a group of people and uh, I took these um, watercolour inks to that class. Oh, fantastic. So, um, yes, anyway, that's the main la -de -da are the new inks. I'm going to show you them, I'm going to show you the colours, how they work. But if you're an ink person, if you're a Jane Davenport person, then you, you already know these are going to be fantastic. They're just going to extend the universe of what we have in a very lovely way. You can mix skin colour, you can mix any colour once you've got the right primaries, mixing skin tone reliably without too much effort, that's a different thing. That's why these inks are existing. Because when you're in creative flow, you just want a skin, you just want a skin colour. If your brain has to then go off and mix colours, that it brings it out a different analytical part, which is fine, but can pull you out of that flow. And if you're in, if you're limited for time, like I always am when I'm doing my creativity, um, when I'm doing my creativity, when I'm doing some art, um, <laughs> I just, I want the skin in a bottle to be quite frank. So that's why I've got the skin in a bottle in the uh, gessos and in pencils and in pastels and in, everything and now we have them in their ink form as well. Plus there's all sorts of other things. Now I'm just going to have a quick little look at the comments, make sure I'm explaining things properly and uh, Angus is helping me today. He has my iPad so if you've got questions that he can answer he will, he's answering as me uh, which is, thank you Angus very much. He's also keeping the dogs quiet. And uh, old PJ Bam says she's already got hers. And <laughs> hey, Zandra, Debbie. Oh, it's lovely to see everyone. Diane. Magical Pants. Sometimes if you've got a name, YouTube name, that's a special name. I don't know. I might not know who you are. So, uh, but oh, Kimball's here. <gasps> Fabulous. If you've got a um, YouTube channel yourself that you do art videos, and if, especially if you use giant supplies, please add your uh, channel name so people can jot that down and they can follow you as well. So I know Kimball has Kimball's Corner, uh, Scraps to Beauty, and I know there are others of you that have 
that uh, do videos so please uh, share that so we can all go and have a look at what each other does okay so I'm just going to get into this super excited right so the skinny dip inks of course they're called skinny dip because if you do a nudie swim you're skinny dipping so these are the nudie colors so hence the name um at my first now I was going to call it liquid skin but that sounded a little bit creepy and also um, when inks and things are going around the world liquid skin for a customs duty person watching uh, things coming in as they're being posted that night sound a bit strange so uh, skinny dips fun and flirty and why can't I be a little bit fun and flirty <laughs> and uh, I was writing out, you know, what what the inks are and why they're important. And uh, this was before I changed their brush strokes of inclusivity. <laughs> but there should be a K there now. So inclusivity, right? Because we love a pun around here. So we've got skin tones. As with all of my art supplies, I really try and make sure that they are inclusive of all skin tones. Gone are the days when you would find, we actually do still find them, not with my things you don't, but um, where something's referred to as flesh coloured, well, my goodness, how many flesh colours? I've got 60 on myself for a start, so um, I'm just moving my inks out of the way, so I've got a little bit of room here. So, the collection uh, is a collection of different stamps stencils and the inks and these are all layerable and multi-use and we're going to I'm going to use some of these to show you the collection so I'm going to start with this stamp here it looks quite funny with the little faces just staring out but this is uh, a reimagining of a best-selling stamp set that I had on my own website that had it's called straight faced and um that one of the very very first stamps that i ever did it's a it's a continuation in a journey so if you've got the others this is a new one in three different sizes they're great for swatching so we're going to i've already stamped them out um so that they're already ready uh they're great for swatching just great for starting to build a face and uh so that this is the straight faced stamp set it's just very very usable and I've used some squid ink here. Now you can stamp with this ink. We can stamp with any ink and I just brush it on with a water brush. Um, but if you use a waterproof uh, ink first like this, it just means that these original lines are going to stay and not move. So I've uh, stamped already with these two. This is uh, sun kissed and sandy toes so we know and I've stamped in light colors so that I can change the faces as I go uh, that's what I love seeing I mean use them as they are but it's such a fun way to explore your own style when you've got a little bit of a template and stamps and stencils allow you to do that so uh, I have already stamped those on just before I started and the stamp blocks that I use are from my store um, just FYI, everything I use is my own thing, just because I like to improve things to suit myself. And I'm lucky that I just have lots of people with amazing taste and who work the same way that I do and love them as well. But these are just really nice and sturdy, no bending. Uh, I need as much help as I can get when I'm stamping. And um, I've used those two, and I've got some big stamps in this collection, as you'll see. Uh, so that's a set. I'm just showing you these because you, you need to be aware. Oh, where's my really big fella? I just had it. I'll find it again. It'll be under something. Oh, there it is. And this is actually um, a symmetry grid. Uh, so I use this to help line up faces. I'll put it this way because I've got ink happening. So I use this to help me line up faces, line up features if I've got a bit of wonk happening. But I can also use it as a really big stamp pad. So I'll be using this with one of the other big stamps later. But let me, I've got to show you this one. Okay, so this, that was a straight face stamp. Okay, she's, I've shown her now. Thank you for your service. This stamp set uh, is the, 
just thinking, always thinking rather, always thinking. Now I've got to go rough, ruffling along through my um, books here. And this was born of a prompt from one of our creative challenges. I started her in um, one of the live streams and it's me journaling. And uh, she journaled far and wide and this is with Welcome Matte uh, Watercolour which is a um, pigment and we mix it and make it and oh, I'll show you them later. Oh, where are they actually? Huh, I've just realised my welcome mats are missing. Oh, my welcome mat watercolours, oh, I'll, I'll just have to find them later. But where are, Oh, there they are. They're not missing, it's okay. <laughs> the gecko didn't steal them. That's these ones. Anyway. She traversed whole mountain ranges and sailed the seven seas in both fair weather and foul, crossed deserts and swamps and enjoyed uh, something and sunsets on distant stars and never left home because she did it all in a journal you see so anyway that was the basis of this uh, stamp it's not about the destination it's about the journal and these large pens ink bottles it's um, another step on from I think one of my favorite stamp sets almost used stamp sets that I've ever done uh, this was also with creative expressions this is in the last collection and it's got all of the different art supplies and I just adore these stamps for swatching and I really wanted them uh, bigger but I've also added our um, the glass pen so they're meant to, and you know you're always right um, <laughs> but I'm always trying to uh, it's the generic but I'm, I'm trying to incorporate our specialness in it as well and of course, I've moved my glass pens. Why would I have done that? And I've got a new glass pen that has a mermaid tail, you see. But I don't know where I've put them. Probably in the same place that I put my black squid ink. And it's disappeared. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, oh, that's going to drive me crazy. My glass, my glass pens. Anyway, they're around. But that's the uh, <laughs> Always Thinking set. And another artwork that I created in a live stream, which I cannot find. I can't find it anywhere. Is it in here? It'll be in one of my journals, but I've got so many journals and I do a lot of art and I can't find this one. And it's one of my favourite ones. So weather always, it's from the song, she always, you always take the weather with you. And it's a three-piece stamp set. And the great thing about stamps, you just ink up the bit that you want to use. But I did the rain separately because raindrops are a gorgeous uh, pattern for a background. So you've got those separately and you've got the girl who's harnessed the weather and the clouds and she's just taking the lovely clouds with her. So I'm just going to have a quick... Oh, thank you. Angus has located the glass pen. Thank you. That's the little glass pen with the mermaid tail. Have you ever seen? This is an inktopus, by the way. We might use one. Well, I'll need them. Of course I'll need them. Cause I, um, and these are some new ones that are coming later in the year. And a little butterfly. Um, might use one of those later. Because you can use those with the skinny dip, of course must be in here oh I like her oh there she is there she is anyway that is <laughs> uh, the uh, stamp and the original art isn't that fun see how much fun I have with you guys in the background I've sprayed through um, laces and all sorts what else have we got in here Oh, I have the thoughts strayed somewhere between the magenta verse and purpleville. Well, that's quite a long, that's quite a broad 
the most magnificent ringleader of my own destiny. Sketch a size pencil. Oh, that is fabulous. Okay, so that was uh, Weather With You as part of this collection. So all of the stamps and stencils from this collection have got figures, faces, people in them so that you can play around with Skinny Dip. But then again, other than that art supply one, they all have people in them because I'm a people person. I wouldn't say I'm a people pleaser, but I'm a people person. Okay, next little creation. I wanted to create more three uh, turned faces because we've I've got the straightforward face and doing turned faces, learning those is a little bit of a, it's just that next evolution and this is to help you do that or just have some fun. They're very nice, cute little faces. This was the original drawings and then um, I've got the stamps here as well. And this is the coordinating stencil. I'm showing you the pristine ones first and then I have my ones that are very, very uh, use au vood. <laughs> and, oh, and just so you know, the, all of this collection is already available on my website and you can also find it on the Creative Expressions website. Um, Creative Expressions actually sell from their website now. That's really brand new and because um, it used to only stores could only used to be able to buy from them because they're a distributor but now they actually have uh, only in the UK you can actually purchase from their website if you're in the UK otherwise um, yeah you've got my store or whichever uh, independent stores decide to uh, stock the collection um, anyway so this is called side chicks and they're called side chicks because they're turning to the side, but giving a little bit of a side eye, if you will. You can change their eyes to be however you like, but this, uh, having the little faces that you can stamp in your skinny dip ink, or whatever you want to do, um, is marvellous as well, um, and I'll show you that. Plus you've got some little hairdos there. Um, you can flip the stamps, the stencil rather, so that you can use both hairs and both uh, faces. Um, they've got slightly different shapes, so they've got their own thing. And then you've also got some decorative feathers. This was one of my best-selling stamp sets ever um, I had with feathers, so it's a reimagining of uh, those as well. And here I've combined one of the side chicks with um, one of my Art Foamy stamps. So this is Artemis here, and do I have, oh, so in, but in this journal, this stamp here is, oh, wait a minute, should I go in order? Um, oh, where's my wild ink stamp? Uh, Gus, I'm missing one of the stamps. It's not missing, oh no, I found it. It was like, a, I just had to open my eyeballs. Yes. Uh, no, no. You can just add the stockings. Uh, you could so you've got you can have them as skin um, color, or you can just add the little stripes yourself. But you could have polka dots too. Very cute, or just plain black little stockings, or just have your legs. Um, but no, I've I've painted the little stockings on there. Um, also, you don't have to have black raindrops. I just really love raindrop patterns. Um, you could stamp that in a lighter colour too. It's all endless, isn't it? This was uh, from a live stream with uh, Welcome Matte and Pebble Pigment and all sorts of different things. We've also done the washi tape, that's there upside down. And now we have it as a stamp as well. So this is the Wild Ink stamp set. This is one of my favourite little faces she's actually on the doctor ink i did a little drawing when i was in japan uh, on a page of um it was m me a version of um or a person dreaming of all the things that they love and she was dreaming of frida carlo flowers mermaids or oh, here's frida here um art supplies inks and 
it was a, a, the, a unicorns are on there, other things. And I just adore this little face. And so this is this as a stamp and just as a aside, um, the art foam is, uh, we have this as an eye and I've actually got it as a set of eyes coming, but they're much, much bigger. Uh, just a little bit later. Um, it's just because they're kind of gorge and they're just a bit messy. And where that one is a more symmetrical, this is not. Uh, it's just wild ink. And then I've used these. They're not hair in particular. They're vibrations, they're waves, they're energy, they're landscapes. But you can use them as hair. And uh, just be mindful in how you ink them up and just line them up, boop, boop, boop. And you can create some wild hair. But that's the wild ink uh, design. Love this. And of course you could do different colours. But just going back to the side chicks. This is uh, this one here. And do I have some more in here? I just I saw that one this morning there and I was looking for it, couldn't find it. Oh, and these are the side chicks as well. So this one, I've, I've just changed her features uh, just to give her a, a different uh, look. Uh, made her mouth broader, her nose uh, more dipped, that a lower nose bridge, and this girl, and I've used pens and other things to uh, create some details. But the wonderful thing about stamps is that you can just use them as a building block and then use them to create uh, other things on top of them. So uh, I mentioned Kimball before. He uses my stamps and stencils, not always, but uh, from time to time, just as a like a start, a kickoff point, and then just completely adds his own flourish. But it's just, it's such a step up. I find it for myself, just speeds things up and makes you feel really free because you haven't had to measure and sweat over um, getting those basics right and that's taken up all your creative time. When you really want to get to the colour, sometimes you really just want to get to the colour and for me, I really just want to get to the eyes. So if I can take a little shortcut to get there quicker, then fabulous. Some days I don't need it, some days I do. Um, anyway, but as you can see, I'm um, a bit of a... I love <laughs> drawing faces, stamping faces, all the faces. Okay. Rightio then, I'll pop that journal out of the way. That was our side chicks and I think we're down to the last, uh, we'll say the piece de resistance. Oh, this is part of that um, think, always thinking with the pens. The uh, ink working drink. Sorry? Oh yes, the inks work in Dr. Ink. They work in uh, Dr. Ink, in fountain pens, they're fountain pen friendly. Um, Dr. Inks, you could add pig pigment pebbles too to give them a bit of a zhuzh. Actually, you might do that today. I'm going to remind myself to do that because um, I want to do that. Uh, then you, the skin will have a little bit of a glow, glow to it. So I put the Skinny Dip inks in the water brushes. I used them in my life drawing class uh, yesterday. I'll show you that in a second. And then I used uh, my Dr. Ink pens, brilliant. And my fountain pens, brilliant. And uh, but you can put them in sprays. You can draw straight from with the little dipper. It's got this little doodly do there. Just drawing straight from that. Um, put it on a palette. Use it with a brush. Everything it does. Everything um, dip pens. The whole works. The every ladi da. What else have we got in here? I got more. Oh, this is the straight face, just playing around with different uh, inks and things. Weather with you. This journal, oh, I just have to, that's a sort of semi secret. This is what I'm going to show you next. This is that uh, wild ink. What else have we got in here? Oh, I've got just where I've put more stamps. So I've got a trip away coming up soon, and I will put some of my stamps. Uh, in a lighter colour 
um, in the pages of the journal. I'm just going to take a small little journal with me. I really want to do lots of sketching while I'm out and about, but to relax and enjoy myself. I find drawing what I'm looking at. I have to eat after I've done that. My brain has used up all its brain food and I'm, I need to um, replenish myself. But if I just am drawing faces, I find that builds my energy up. So what I do as a little treat for myself is I've already got little some of the little faces already stamped in there or stenciled in there. And then I can just scribble away with those and... I just find that very therapeutic and I can rebuild my energy after I've uh, had some, you know, doing other types of sketching because this is my home. This is where I'm happy and I feel I, I can't hurt myself. <laughs> I'm going to leave this um, open next to me I think because I might do something on here this has got the joyful gesso under here I've just put uh, leftover paint here um, I'm going to pop that there and actually oh I just love these stamps I love giant stamps but just keep in mind that you might need you might not have a big enough stamp block um, don't know how common big stamp blocks are to be honest because I, I use mine I don't really use um I don't really keep up with what everyone else is doing you see uh okay so that's my messy one I'll put all so I've shown you the whole collection except the last few okay right 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 so on my website I've got these as a bundle um and all of the stamps and stencils as a bundle you can get things on their own as well but um, some things work together like the uh, side chicks stamp and stencil so they are a thing together and these are this is FaceTime this is uh, the FaceTime stencil the FaceTime features and the FaceTime stamp and what this all uh, work together Oh, I love skinny dip. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the, these are the first ones. So this is the... Sorry, I'm having too much excitement. The stencil. I'll show you this in action. Love it. Um, spray through it, pounce through it, draw, whatever. It's a stencil. I, you know how it works. Of course, it's reversible. Um... And these stamp sets, these are separate eyes, separate eyebrows, freckles, different noses, different mouths. Of course, you can draw your own, you can stamp lightly and reimagine uh, or use as is. So I've got a combination of all of those things happening. Um, I've sprayed through here. This is um, a Pigments of Imagination colour, this really light blue um it's called ondine i think that might be what i or sylph um that i've used uh here and this is um but the face colors are the um skinny dip inks and then i've used pencil watercolor whatever else i feel like over the top um this is i've painted in with gesso um the joyful gessos for these ones and then use my um, pencils over the top this stamp I'll show you this one. So it looks a bit strange there, but that's so everything can fit in. This is actually two pieces. So where is that big stamp block? I'll show you. So this is one big stamp, just the hair, which matches back to the stencil. Just have to remember uh, that the stamp can only go one way. The stencil can go both ways. But I've got a little trick for that, so just hang on. And then the little eyes shut face is here. Um, and if you wanted to, you could separate them or just ink up those and you could coordinate these eyes with the other nose and lips that is on the uh, other set. So you can um, separate them. I just, I wanted to keep that eye nose hook uh, together for this, but you can make those adjustments. 
uh, and you can use the uh, different uh, lips but I couldn't fit if we separated these stamps in because they have to have space around them wouldn't have been able to fit a whole nother face in there so this was just a nice little way of doing it it's better to stamp this uh, and then stamp the faces you, because you, because of the little uh, tolerances around the side you can't really get it right into the right spot but you can try you might even shave off a little if you wanted to I'll leave that up to you but that's the uh, face time isn't that cool little you might leave uh, that on there but you'll need this bigger block uh, for the big face stamp like that and then this is just that's that little eyes shut face there isn't that cool yeah so you're building faces but it's a bit more well, I don't want to say advanced but a bit more I don't know, because it is a turned face a little bit different this is putting um, water down and then dripping that in getting some little figures coming across the page this is the skinny dip colors swatched out with the water brush this is the skinny dip colors just swatched out in different ways and then playing with more and more of them now I said there was a trick to reversing them when you order the bundle from my website as a special gift we have the skinny dip washi tapes and the skinny dip washi tapes this just I love this one so much it's just all of the colors repeated 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 it's just a beautiful <laughs> combination of colors I, I use it um, you could just use it as borders to put things together you know washi tape kind of stuff but I also love putting it on my pens that I'm using my skinny dip colors in because then I know that's what uh, the skinny dips are on there's also Gus can you stop them um, this is the uh, faces so I just created that into a big border there we go that's all of the girls and you can um, just use them as stickers because they're so big I love this big wide washi tape mm -mm -mm. so I find this quite handy when I'm traveling just one I'll just decide which washi tape I take with me because I do have some really nice ones uh, some of these this one here I've used skinny dip ink with as well to create that was um, this one has got the um, this is the love stream collection that just came out before but this has got the wild ink pattern that I showed you earlier so a lot of my things come from the love streams because uh, we have fun this is gorge with all the different faces on it different inks different things oh, I may as well if I pulled it out I may as well use it otherwise it just gets it'll just be all flapping around oh that was skinny dips there too let's pop it here for now in fact it's got a plastic cover on it so I could always just stick it on that and then reuse it later but look now we've started that page off and the last one <laughs> I'm gonna put this in here now no I'll put it up here I'll put it here uh, this one helps you reverse the uh, gosh I get so squirrel get excited about everything oh that's from the last creative expression set as well that would look cute on here actually they're all like little fairies this uh, in the background is something that's happening a bit later in the year but here are the different washies so the only way you can get those is with the um, bundle collection it's just a special gift uh, we might have them available separately later I'll just wait and see because it's all limited edition of course um, but these I flipped the eyes around so that if you uh, flip the stencil because you can't flip the stamp you have to have a whole nother stamp but you do have the eyes here so you do have um, as well as just being able to use them as lovely eyes so I've just pulled them apart and popped them there and then used my paint over pens and so forth to create but yes you can create a more whimsical style or 
whatever you like. It's always lots of fun. Oh, that was our gold. And this was um, my life drawing sketching class that I did yesterday. So I go down, I'm just in the group. And um, we had a male model yesterday. And I um, don't think I have to cover anything up. I think we're, we're good. And using Skinny Dip with fountain pens, with my um, Dr. Ink and uh, brushes and the water brushes. Um, a little bit of white ink, but yeah, look at the lovely uh, detail. Colours are gorgeous. Uh, really had a wonderful time. Okay. Look at the stamp. It's just divine. So that's stamping with the Dr. Ink, with the Skinny Dip rather. And this actually I've kept in here, I should um, tape it in, um, is, in fact I will do that right now. I'll just go like that. This is, I should tape it into the Skinny Dip pages. Um, just playing around and working out what it was that I was going to be doing with this collection and having some fun with it. So this is all, oh, this was last night, playing around with Skinny Dip with the different colours. So we've got very tanned skin, more of a very golden tone uh, to lighter colours, etc., etc., etc. Oh, I think that's, uh, this is all Skinny Dip here. Mmm, yummy. Skinny dip in Dr. Ink. I think I was watching one of the uh, Yellowstone spin-offs that's um, named after these. And this is Skinny Dip on Watercolour Gesso. So the colours, um, all gessos will change the, co the colours of ink because they have absorbency. So they're going to uh, alter, not alter the colour, but they soften it, which is fantastic. For skin tones, when you're working with vibrant things, it might not be, uh, you, it doesn't stay as vibrant. But when you are working with um, skin tones, it softens things off just a little bit more and just makes them easier to work with. So keep that in mind. So when I'm talking about watercolour gesso, that's what I'm talking about. Same trick will work with normal gessos. It's just watercolour gesso will allow, because it's made for water media, um, it just allows the watercolour to hold its um, clearer detail. So that can be great for faces as well. So it has that soft blending of the colour but lets you keep the detail and get these little watermarks, that sort of thing which I just love. And although they're really unrealistic, they end up being super realistic and I can't explain why that is all I can say it just it is what it is I'm going to pop that in there add more washi tape to that but it's just a little record of uh, me working out how the collection and and how I wanted it to flow together and that sort of things so I'm going to pop that to one side just quick uh yes that's true Debbie Debbie was just imagining uses for the washi tapes Right, now I was going to, I'm just going to, so just to save my, my poor brain, which does need saving, uh, quite often actually, move things out of the way that aren't immediately needed, or oh, can't let her face fly off without the rest of her body, so I pop I've got all the pristine ones, and then I've got all my ones that I've been using uh, here. They've all been very well loved. I've tried to keep them nice and clean, but that's not always possible. Right, so I better show you these colours, shall I? Now, like I said, you can put them into sprays, into pens, whatever you like. So I've already got them in pens. Uh, I've got them labelled with some of my swatch stickers, which are these. This is a special paper that I found, it's just fantastic for swatching. There's mermaid tails, there's scales, there's rounds, there's um, uh, 
and just plain pieces so you can do whatever you like. I've used some of the mermaid tails for these. Why? Just because. And then I've got the name of them just on there. And um, I'm just going to put them in quick order. So I've got my... Um, Oh, that's shortbread. Okay, I haven't put that label on there. Where? So Born This Way and Madame Lash are our two darkest colours. So I might just even... No, I better do that at the end because I'm going to put my hand in it the whole time. Okay, start with Rococo. Now, I didn't do a very good job of stamping here. I'll fix her face up later. But I'll even give her ears. So I left the ears off the stamp uh, because... Um, just to allow you to draw the hair and sometimes the ears aren't going to always be uh, visible so I'm um, just allowing that space on some of the others I've got the ears I'm just making it a little bit different I, I just felt the time was right for no ears because <laughs> you can just add ears like that they're very easy it's just a little bacon biscuit sitting next to uh, like that so that's rococo now if you want to deepen that color you just add a little bit more ink and you can just deepen the color that's ink remember uh, the next one we're going to go for a celebrity skin let's do that so this is a warmer tone And the stamp that I've used, this is part of the straight faced stamp. And should we leave a little bit of, um, I'm going to leave some little flashes of white as um, a little highlight here and there. I've tried to leave it there on the eyes, but maybe I'm not very successful. Okay, now our next one we're going to do is sun blessed where is she that looks like her and rather than let them just be one color oh this is so nice i think I might, i'll add a little bit of water too to them to show you lightening them off as well so like um, Incredible Inks, they are, it depends on the absorbency of the paper as to how much they're going to move. They'll move a lot more on some surfaces than others. Oh, they look like little headphones. Oh, maybe that's what she's got. Move that up into there. I just wanted to show you how by adding more to you can make the skin tone lighter and lighter and lighter. Uh, if that's what you want. Uh, so we've got that one. Now... Oops, we've got a traffic jam off to one side. Oh, this one's very, very warm. This is a nice little cheek colour, actually, and lip colour uh, for darker skins as well. Now, this one, I think, is great when you add a bit of water to it also. I've lost my brush. I've put my hand in that one over there. See how lovely and soft you can make things when you just add a little bit of the water. I think you just answered this. Uh, when you add ink to the brush that you're using, is it straight ink? Straight ink. It's always I add the straight ink. Um, this is a colour called shortbread. I always add straight ink. Uh, and then you've got you add the water uh, when you've got there. If you're getting down like to the last little dregs of something, you can add a little bit of water to it just if you need to fill something up. Or if you've got just a little bit left and you, you want to stretch it out, you can do that. But usually if the ink has any special properties, um, you if you add water to it, you've set the property off. 
in the actual marker itself rather than letting it do its own thing later. So I say um, have the pure colour in here and then add your water later. Now these are just swatches and I, I think you would always layer the colours. This is That's when they get their magic, but we'll do that later. So this, I just really just wanted to show you the different colours. That's silk stocking, so this is starting to get into a nice, um, uh, the softer colours. Oh. Do you know, I was doing that and I thought that this must be the light. Um, because I've had that one got mixed in. That's an old version. I'm going to get get that out of the way. It's this is this colour. This is because shortbread is my colour. Listen to your gut instinct. Now these are going into our life colours. This is soft focus. This is a really soft pink, soft coral, soft peach. Beautiful for cheeks. Uh, we're going. You, I thought I was actually going crazy then, but luckily it was momentary. So we'll start off with these swatches and then we'll, they can become something uh, else later. Uh, so that was Ruby Tuesday, that was Soft Focus, Silk Stockings. This is Violent Femme, which is a really light purple and it is in the family of... Um, jellyfish mermaid marker but it's very very light and very very useful I know you'd be like why would a light purple and this bright purple be helpful for faces it's this is how we shade things and add life and then our last two are born this way now I'm just going to add a little bit of that and then I'll add the water so we can see how this washes out. It's just this beautiful blueberry, but also it's that dark indigo. It's, it's everything. And Madame Lash, same thing. This is when it's down, it looks like a, a nice ebony um, blue black. But when we add our water to it, you can see that it's actually a really, really dark navy. A cool black. Very cool. <sighs> now let's mix them up. So what I like, sometimes like to do is add a little bit of what you can add. You can, um, of course, paint whatever you like with the different faces. But I've got this nice big brush and I'm going to use... I'm going to put water down. This is a watercolour ink that I've already popped here. And what have I got on the back? Nothing. There we go. Oh, I've got a bit of uh, pink in my brush that I can see. I might pop this on here as well. Now, if I was smart, I could paint around the eyes. But when you are stamping, sometimes the ink, um, especially if it's a waterproof ink, will form a little barrier for you so um, we can use that to our advantage now I'm just going to add I'm going to go in with this I'm going to go dramatic with our darker colours on this side I'm just going to let them dissipate out and if I wanted to I don't have to use it just from a more water brush I can use it even straight from here so I did a fair bit of painting yesterday how cute are the new bottles? Have the little swoop. And then on here, it's got a little, because this is my painting and I'm using lots of different colours. And then our background colour, we need it to stand out. But the there's a little swatch there that's a bit more of a representation. But that will change depending on what you're painting and what you're painting on and so on and so forth. I'm just getting a few little colours happening. And I do want, oh, see, I, I, can't, I, I like that little furriness that's happening here. 
So I'm going to let that be there. I've got quite a lot of water on here. I'm going to just bring that there. I'll bring that on this side of the face. Just let some water be there. I can push that around a little bit. Don't forget that paper towel is your friend. See how the ink is um, uh, making a little dam? Now, if I didn't want this, the little darker edge, uh, I don't mind because that's where the face turns. So, of course, that's all right. But where it might be a bit dark there, getting a little thing, I can just use this as a little finger and just watching where the... Just keeping a little eye on it. I might want a little bit of a lighter spot there so I can just dab. Maybe I want a little lighter spot on the cheekbones. Just dab. And I can just dab and let that soften out. I, can, I might get a bit more. I can steal a bit of this ink here. Pop it up here. Oh, I like that little white edge I've left. I'm going to bring that in here and let that be that white, little bit of light hitting at the top of the forehead there where we have a little bit of a prow of the forehead. And other than that, I'm going to let that be. Now, I've put water there and it's all dried off, so I'll just do that again. Because of the type of uh, ink that I'm using, that I've used in the background, it's, given, it's the squid ink, so it's doing that little trick. Not all inks might do that. I'm going to use shortbread for this one. I might just drip that straight in. And because I've got that little pad of water, oh, I suppose I should have done it without that. Well, I did that there, okay. Um, it'll dry quicker if you just go like this, like these are pretty ready to almost work on. But this, it, the, the ink can flow out. If in doubt, put a little bit of water on first. That's with any water media. Um, if you're not quite sure, put a little bit of water down. Because the, wa the watercolour can, and, or the ink, whatever it is, can go off and say, oh, okay, let's, it's a collaboration. Let's do something together. And look at the, this is how that ink is pushing the watercolour back. I'm getting a nice little white edge around there. I quite like that, but I need a bit more ink in here. So I might even put a little bit of while things are still drying. Uh, so this colour I'm putting in is silk stockings, which is actually lighter than, it's a different colour as you can see, it's, it's a different colour again, but it's a lighter colour. But it's, if I, I'm layering them, so I'm making them darker. I might even use a little bit of this on this side of the nose. And I've got the shadows on this side of this girl's face, the darker side and this side. Now, I don't want it to look like she's just eaten something and it's dribbled. So I'll just shape that a bit with my brush. It's a collaboration. I don't have to uh, accept whatever the watercolour does for Skinny Dip. It's there to help me, but I can say, okay. And now this is what I think. And then the watercolour can say that. And then I can say, well, this is what I think. We go back and forth. Now, you can use these with any of my other inks as well. In fact, we might even do a little star power. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, soft focus. I might add that into the... Oh, we've got a runaway. She's eaten some strawberries. I'm just going to dump that off and soften it. And I'm just going to let that do what it wants. No, I'm not going to poke at it. There we go. That's going to be nice. Okay, well, it wanted to go off there. It didn't want to stay on the lips at all. It wanted to go travelling, so that's fine. Okay. But what I can do is just uh, dab off what I can and then let it dry and I can always just come back over with this. But 
sometimes people have a lot of pink in their face. This is a very soft colour and it will soften off as the water evaporates from it and uh, it dries out. Now, oh, I might just leave those as little swatches or do I work on them? I need to let these dry a little bit. Okay, well, while I'm letting those dry, I might swap journal and um, let's get this one. Oh, yeah, let's, well, let's do a, a stenciled face. So I'm going to open up this page here and I've got my stencil here. I'm going to um, stamp this way round. So this, the stencil has to be this way. I've got this, um, oh, I've been playing with it. I should have really cleaned that off. So I'll end up with a bit of paint here and there, but that's all right. I might have a bit of this without happening. And I've got washi here. Um, I've just, I'm just going to stick it down so that um, if I'm bumping it around or this or that, it's not going to move too much because it's really nice when it stays nice and clean on here. Now with use, I just, I noticed after, not me had used it, but I'd had friends using it. Um, it's not doing it now because I've retrained it, but this was bowing out a little bit. And with any stencil, if you're getting that and you want it to stay, say like I can see here, or maybe even the page or the surface itself is not sitting uh, as flat as you want. You can use a tiny little bit of, of um, blue tack, pop it under the stencil and just get it to stick to the paper if you want a really pristine little um, representation of whatever it is that you've got. So anyway, there you go. Now, I can't get the blue tack off my blooming finger. There we go. Now I need a little bit of paper or something to help me with this little next step. So I've got some, uh, it's a bit big. Actually, this is a bit better. Perfect, that one, right. I'm going to spray and I'm going to pounce. So to pounce, <laughs> pounce, meow, I'm going to use um, my little sponge here. Thank you everyone again for joining me. This is so cool. I can't even, I'm so grateful that this is what I get to do and to share with people because it's so much fun. And uh, as a group, we, we know what it's all about. It's about having fun and it's not about perfection and it's about fitting that creativity into our lives because we are creative people and uh, it's just it's just wonderful and I love it so much. Okay, so I've got a brand new iHeart Art sponge here. So this is a set of two. Um, iHeart Drawing is a book that I, a series of books that I've done and the heart technique. But to me, it always looks like a little bottom, doesn't it, sitting in there doesn't it? Boop, boop. Anyway, it's a heart and the re <laughs> I've got other sponges that I use as well, these little wedges, they're really uh, good as well. But, uh, and so any sponge, but I'm just showing you my ones because why would I have normal sponges? Well, even the wedge ones, they're in a rainbow. But this is the red one and this is the little, so it's got eye heart out in it and it's a different density. So, um, Let's see, we'll use them both. So I've shown you the brand new one so you know how gorgeous it is, okay? <gasps> Sear that into your mind. Boop, boop. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Seriously, the, the gorgeous girl that helped me get these made, it, honestly, it was the sweetest thing. She thought they were the cutest thing she'd ever done. They have to be hand-shaped. <gasps> 
uh, it, like to get these round bits anyway blah blah so remember that that was the perfect new one but I've got these two and I might try the two I've mainly been using this one as you can see but um, and I use this with squid ink but um, I, I have I don't know if I've used this with skinny dip so let me hmm so this one's a softer density than this one but they, they both come in the set and the thing with those sorts of sponges you just wash them out and use them and if you had my original set which had the four gorgeous colors you could any sponge um okay so that's one but i'll also use the sprays so i think i might do purple hair why not with a little bit of ruby tuesday purple and pink hair and a little bit of violet femme maybe 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 a little bit of um born this way there she is okay i'll do the hair first and then we might pounce the face and then i might do freckles okay so i want to if i'm going to use these other colors i'm just going to get sort of i could create a little mask that would probably be a really good idea but i am not going to do that because of the laziness and at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if I get a bit of the purple in here. It doesn't matter. It makes no difference. The other thing I could do if I got real tricky is I could put uh, lace over it too. Because this has got little intricate bits, it's not go really going to have a big impact, but just for fun, okay? I'm going to do, we'll, we'll do a little bit of lace down there as well. Uh, but I need to move quickly. Um... So I'm getting a bit of purple here, there and everywhere, but I don't think that really matters. I just love the little spray uh, pattern and then I need to get into here. Just when you're doing this sort of thing, just be a little bit aware of what you've got when you're putting this down. I was doing this the other day and I, whatever it was, I was using, oh, I had a hole in it was my little palette and I ended up with a purple dot there, which actually ended up looking all right. Everything always does. Look, she, she had a little bit of a purple spray there, but it looked fine. Um, and if I put this down, that whoa, that's that the purple hair is a lot. I don't know about that. You could always um, 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 add a bit of water. Just spritz a little bit of water, and things will be fine. I promise. I'm just moving my little mask so I'm not going to get a perfect result but who wants perfect now let's go over with a little bit of so that was um, shady lady that's this one so obviously no one is that purple but we can use that uh, you know how I feel about purples and things oh <gasps> I think I live vicariously through my uh, <laughs> through these things. Now I'm going to let me think about this. I want this to be blue, so I'm going to block that off a little bit. So that'll be her little frill. I thought that could be kind of cute with this a little bit of this like that right so should we do it but it'll be dark blue oh she's got a bit of a tattoo that's all oh but look at it oh yes this is the joy of a stencil is I haven't taken ages to draw this um I'm just going crazy having fun just testing new things out and if I want to go back and draw it and be pristine and do all that I can do that now I've just also noticed that I've got some build-up of ink um, happening so I might want to manage that mischief the other thing is if I'd left that on there I could have flipped the stencil and used it somewhere else and dragged it or any other thing so what ifs now we can pounce uh, some other colour into this or if I didn't want it with the spray pattern there, if I wanted to soften that out, um, I could pounce with this and do that. 
but I like the spray pattern so I'm going to leave that but um, I am going oh it was bunyip I think is it bunyip no this is another one of my inks that's only on my website might be yeti um oh look I've used her all up um and these are little Mr. Wrights, if you've never seen these. These are the, they've got a, a very fine pen in one end, gel ink pen. Do they have a pen so that I could call it a Mr. Wright? Yes. Yes. A pen is handy. Do you need all these pens? Probably not. Maybe eventually. But um, it also adds height to the little Miss, uh, Mr. And I love it. And just makes it easier to handle, makes me happy. So um, that is what's happening. So I'm using this colour just to add a little bit of depth up here. Um, and this would be too dark. So I'm not even going to just steal this and just pop that in here. And these are a permanent ink. They're a different creature. There are some gorgeous skin tones in this one as well. Uh, but they're a different totally different formula but they're going to work beautifully with these and I, I love using the two together why won't you squeeze in thank you very much yeah so there's 24 colors in these um no I'm good we have a very hot pink ear happening so someone's been talking about her her ears are burning with the lovely things that they're saying now did I just use purple on that yes I did so I need to just make sure I don't pounce with that side I pounce with that side and this does have the water soluble ink but it should be okay right um, little palette now uh, this is the mini mixer clear so I can see what's happening underneath it so I always love these I might do a light skin tone I'm going to start off with um, shortbread I'm just going to put a little bit of that ink on here Spray the spray, and I might even do it a spray at the end just to give us little freckles. Now, was that definitely the side? Yes, just uh, get a little bit of that ink in here. Always with pouncing, you can oops, start off. Oh, now I've gathered up the blue now. Oh, I better swap my. I'll just swap this. I've, I've got it here, I've got a bit of blue, so if I go stamp, 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 I'm going to have bruises. So. Usually I start off on one side. I'm going to have to watch that or I'll end up with the pink in there as well. Now it's going to look a bit patchy when I first do it because I've got different densities because it's a, a sponge. So I'm going to also get a little bit of Celebrity Skin, which is a darker colour. And I'm going to pounce that straight under the chin. And I'm going to actually come down the side of the face with that one. So it's going to look a little bit patchy is um, what I'm saying. So I've got different densities of ink. I'm not painting it on with a brush. I'm doing a little bit different. Um, now, the, see, I've got that build up of pink on the stencil. That might be a good idea to do that because if I end up with that, I'll go pounce, pounce, pounce with the pink in there. So just... Remaining a little bit aware of what's happening. And I'm going to do a little spray with, that's shortbread there. Oh no, silk stockings. Very good, I'll do that. And this is a little bit of uh, soft focus, which is this very, very light peachy pink. And just do a test spray. I'm going to just do a little spray there I'm going to give it a little bit of that on there soften that side and silk stockings I'm going to do a little overspray so that I've got this color in the lace I'm still going to have that lace shape um, if I just dab that that will just freeze it a little bit so it looks like um, a lace I, I want a lace and this will soften it up and it will give her a few little freckles if I'm lucky um, which, you know, will all be very nice. And then I need to let that one dry and we'll go back to the other. But before we do that, we can take this off. Gorge. 
isn't that fun now this patchy look that will uh, dry off uh, as we go so don't worry about that let me uh is there any little um oh he said that uh, amber said is that sponge pink oh yeah there's pink and red and it's pink right now we've got our girls over here uh, i'm just going to put my little sprays away as we go just I'm having so much spray fun spraying i really want to keep on with that but now I'm just going to actually give that a little hit with the dryer because I want to use my pens on this and because I used all that water it's just taking the time it takes. I suppose I could work on those that side. And if I've got um yes blue tack is um what do you call it in America? Okay, so that is starting to dry. The only thing is, if you use a heat gun, uh, and it, of course, speeds up the drying time, but, um, oh, see, it's still wet in here, so I've got a little bit of undulation in the paper. If I just, I might just give it a little dry from this side too, just to, um, sometimes you can make the wrinkle in the paper uh, not come out, just will come out naturally when it's drying usually uh, on its own accord. So sometimes you can cause a little bit of a buckle if you cook the paper a bit much. Um, it'll come out when the paper is flat anyway, but it's just something to be aware of. In fact, I'm just going to iron up like that. So then I'll we'll just try and let them dry naturally but we don't have time for that no we have art to do so i've got some of the colors in my uh, doctor ink pens if you've never seen these I might make another color while we're letting those happen so i've got shady lady madame lash and um deja blue which is the dark blue oh and of course rococo but i might do uh, i might do tan fastic this is a really this is that really warm um or celebrity skin no tan fastic or sunglass eh, i'll do tan fastic uh, because this will give me a, a, a instant little bit of warmth oh no should i do have i got ruby tuesday i might do both okay i'll just do everything i don't have to limit myself okay <laughs> so this is the doctor ink pens we take the I'll, I'll do Ruby Tuesday too, I think. Can't believe I don't already have one. What? Um, so we just take the uh, lid off. You don't really need to shake these inks, but it's a good habit to get into. Just always, if you're going to shake your ink, just make sure you've... Um, the lid's on, right? You haven't already taken the lid off and then you shake it that would be bad so this is the insert i just tapped it over here um so uh, and you can see the ink coming flying up the barrel and uh, i'll just put them to one side while they're happening but uh, in australia we had a chocolate ad as kids all oh, that one's ready to go and it was just so cool <laughs> what like look um like the liquid gets into this chalk, a man would put the chalk in. Dr. Sumner Miller, Professor Sumner Miller. Uh, anyway, pop that in, pop the, uh, I think we should label it straight away. In fact, I will do that because once you've moved on, believe me, you will not remember what you've put in there, but I'll just do it very quickly. So that's already come up here um, so I've got the brush tip this is tan fast stick I can make that look prettier later and put that on the lid 
and then I know what I've got in the pen. Otherwise, trust me, you will not remember. Um, if you've just got a few pens, maybe you will, but I won't. So I label, and the labels come with the set. And um, I sometimes put tape around, just some clear tape. That's what I've got on those. Uh, just so that the label um, stays kind of clean more than anything. And uh, just because I'm, I'm an inky little sod. So that's my tan fastic and I think my little Ruby Tuesday should be ready. And then I've already got my fountain pens. Uh, already done. Oh, there's a lid for her. You put the lids back on everything as we go. Uh, so that colour should just shoot uh, straight up. And that this it's designed so when you put this back in, it pushes that little insert onto um, the nib, the inner part of the nib and the ink just can come shooting forward. If it hasn't, then you can just realign it. And um, so the other one came through very quickly. This one's taking its time. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to give it another little oomph. Come on, love. I'm waiting. I want to label you. I don't really know if that... Oh, there it is. Just, just taking her time. Ruby Tuesday. So that little... Oh, I forgot to put that on the other one. But that little top there goes on there. And that's just to say it's a brush tip. Kint. Yes, there will be other tips probably coming in very robust little numblet the uh, doctor ink so fountain pens um, loading it into the piston very easy etc okay so now I've got a couple more pens and now I can just start adding a little bit of uh, detail with these I can do it with pencil pencil will have a different look I can add pencil after. There's nothing to stop me from doing anything that I want. But this will just... I'm going to even bring the camera down a little bit just so you can... See this little um, building up of detail with the pens? To me it says, hey, I'm not serious. This is sketching. I'm just scribbling. So you're saying to your brain... I'm just, hey, we're playing. We're not, we're not, none of this is serious. This is just me scribbling around. And you just stay in that playful zone. I think it was Picasso who said, um, expressed very often in different ways, the importance of, of remaining, keeping that childlike wonder with your art and not letting it feel too serious. And uh, that's definitely, uh, I say everything's forgiven in a sketch. It's because you're saying at this, I'm just, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Once it starts to really start to, you start to get into the realism, you're, and not just, I mean everyone, our eyes, human beings' eyes, start to judge it in a different way. Like, right, okay, this is serious now. Okay, everything needs to match up. Um, they're being serious and we need to um, take what they're doing seriously. It's a serious artist. And it, it, it can take the fun out of things. When I was using my incredible pen, my fountain pen, oh, I love what's happening here. Yesterday in my drawing class I had people craning their necks to see what was this magic I was like it's, a, it's just a fountain pen but I forget that people not everyone is one of us and knows these things already
because you might be like me, where you're a little bit of an art supply addict, so you sort of take the time to know about the different art supplies. Well, I certainly I've just adore art supplies, so I just sort of know. Um, yeah, so I take notice. But I was in a, a, a sketching workshop um, with a wildlife sketching artist who had an exhibition at local our local regional gallery, beautiful um, things. And but she showed um, some watercolours and in pans and three quarters of the class, I'm not even exaggerating, had never seen a pan watercolour. I nearly fell off my chair. I thought, how could everyone not know, in the world not know that? Especially if they were, you know, into art. But of course they don't know. Why would you? You know, you see watercolour in tubes. It's, it's not until you... It's a um, an acronym. It's a short, you know. It's some. It's specialised knowledge. Oh, I felt a bit like, wow. That's that's just the way things are. Oh, I might go in. This is a little bit of violet femme. This is a very light purple, so this is going to be a nice one just to start building up. Very subtle, little. Um, changes in skin tone so on this face and then on this side I can uh, I'll activate that pen that I've got there already but this will give very just a nice little subtle um, movement of color might be too light for this one I might have to go into the darker colors but these are the kinds of colors we need when we are creating faces and in fact I'm going to use that to blend those other little browns that I've got happening there but even that has added such a nice little subtle uh, so that might be a bit too uh, blazant so this way up tan plastic might be a really good one we can mix these two and get more of a coral more of a natural pink. And in fact, I'm going to use um, uh, Shady Lady to start building up maybe some of these other. Colors in here. Gosh, this is not what I thought I would be uh, using. It's just this is what um, feels good. Now I need to add a little bit of colour into her eyes. So I might just use a bit of watercolour. I'm going to use a bit of iridescent watercolour. And seeing as this is a creative expressions collaboration, let's use a little bit of this. I'm going to go in for this frog prints, this mossy. Actually, that's frog prints there. This is Rolling Hills. This is a really nice colour for green eyes. Even though green eyes aren't even that bright, it still feels like a naturalish, certainly more natural than that one. And I might give her purple eyes for now. This purple and gold. Let's see which are my favourite colours already. Just have to remember to use this side of the palette. <laughs> even use a little bit of this as a opening mid for lip color I've got that purple on my brush so that's fine and I'm going to add a little bit and let that um, soften because it's a water soluble ink because I've used the pen and the ink the page is still a little bit damp that's going to really grab and I'm not going to be able to move some of those lines not ever not no way not know how I, I know I already know that because it it digs in and I love that so I already know that from my experimentation and then I'll be able to keep those lines so that's fine by me now I'm going to add a bit of this orange highlight Ooh, and maybe even some of this gold um, and this is a metallic 
uh, an iridescent rather than a metallic. It's metallic because it's gold. Um, as a little highlight over the t floating over the top, like this sun coming down. And we've got a little bit of a golden glow, which will look nice next to that little bit of purple that I put there, and even on the nose. So the sun is, I'm just imagining the sun coming down, can you see? Now I need to make this all a bit more dramatic. So I might, I'll start off with this and just see how this goes. I don't want it to look like purple highlights. I just want it to deepen the colour underneath to stain it a little. And to just build up some detail in the nose. So that's looking very purple and hot pink there at the moment but let me oh I've moved my water to a different spot and I've really <laughs> confused myself just I'm just pulling that off a little bit with my brush so I've still got that uh, stain there I've, de I've deepened it um, I'll just let that dry for a second and then move to something else so that is something, um, yeah, when, you, when I do something, I'm like, ooh, okay, um, that's not quite what I wanted. Um, I just m move to a different part of the image just to give my eyes a rest because just because it's not what I thought was going to happen doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means it wasn't expected and then I need a little moment's break just to decide if that, in fact, does actually look good. Yeah, and what my next step needs to be. Now I can change the shape of the eyes. I'm using the LTQ pen. This is black, black, black for the lash line and the pupils just to really get them to stand out. The Madame Lash I'll use for the, it's a, a step down in depth and it'll help me get um, my next darkest darks. But I want the lashes to really stand out. They're not quite dry enough don't think to uh, get her lashes on so I'll just uh, I might use my madam lash for that on the next bit here and even though these really aren't dry enough I'm going to uh, pop this on here and if it bleeds a bit it's okay it'll just look like makeup so now the eyes are really starting to pop it but I can use oh I actually like her brown eyebrows but hers need I think we need a bit more fanciful but and let's make them a bit more fashionable so I'm going to add a bit more uh, hair to them so I'm just giving individual because this is so fine I can do individual hairs I'm just bringing them down rather than lifting them up that way I'm just using that the stamp as a guide and I can bring them in a little bit so and I'm going to give this more of a, a more dramatic eye just so I've got friends here because it is the same stamp repeated just giving it a little bit more uh, different so that I can make different people with the same stamp The face stamp is called Straight Faced. It's this one. So that's the new one. And um, I have had, it's a different face though, um, another, but we don't have those anymore. I know an awful lot of you have them. And this is a new face and it's that same thing. And I've used the little one, the little, that one there for my swatches. And I quite, I quite love using these as little swatches for things. Um, but yes, this is just a nice little straightforward little face. I wish I'd recorded this actually because they're actually going to be gorgeous. I've got lots of nice little subtle moments and although this was just dropped ink like and, and I, you know, remember I put the water down first, it's still drying little bit of watercolour on top, little bit of um, 
pen work um, in here just to try and get some little details to happen. Um, I can really actually get lots of subtlety and, and volume and all sorts of things. And it's not a big deal, like it's, it's, it's easy to do. You'll be actually shocked with, as, as long as you remain open to the process, I'm just going to develop her nostrils a little bit more, give her a stronger nose shape, bring a little bit more shading here. We'll bring a bit more shading here to deepen her eye sockets because I'm making her eyes a little bit bigger. And building that one, that could make her nose um, smaller. More to find, just to make it different to the stencil, I make them different to each other. Just so they're friends, but you know, they're different girls. I'm going to add a bit more shading here to emphasise that she's got high cheekbones. And then I can actually add a little bit of light. So I could add water and try and dab off, but I think it's just easier to add some either white paint pen or a light colour. So I've got the um, bullet, one of the new unicorns. Add a little bit. I love this soft pink that I've ended up with with the iridescent um, colours. She needs a highlight in the eye. So I'll just do that with this as well. And we need a little bit of a highlight. Um, oh, I'm going to broaden her nose. So I'm just going to bring that out a little bit, that light. And we can add a little bit of uh, highlight on the cheeks there. Sometimes when I'm um, building up highlights on a darker skin, I like to use uh, cream so that I'm not going from my lovely deep colour to a like a highlight. Sometimes it make, can make the skin look oily, so I might build up to a highlight using a light colour like this, like Poser. And then as the very, very tip of the highlight, I can use... Um, See how this is just a more subtle highlight? So for here, I might just want to highlight, but not um, too bright, too jarring. Um, but just to bring a little bit of subtlety to the skin. I sometimes use just a lighter colour. And then the really, really white highlights um, I can have with this. Even like with the eyes, I might want to just soften that off a little. I don't want to look like she's got jaundice, but I just don't want them to look cut out and stuck on. I want it to look naturalish. So I'm going to come up here, let that blend a little bit. Um, whereas with a lighter skin, um, going into my highlights is closer in tonal scale, so it's easier to. It just it looks more balanced. But in reverse, if I want to add shadow, if I or contrast, if I go in with a really dark contrast, it's going to look like very harsh lighting because it's just such a big jump. So it's just in reverse, obviously. It's common sense, but I'm just um, I just I'm kind of obsessed with the way light hits different skin tones and different skins. It's one of the things that I, I do in my life. Drawing class, I spend lots of time really concentrating and trying to observe uh, the way that the light hits skin and how I can make, without lines, like it's just this gradual sort of toning and how can I create that in my artwork. And, and how can I help other people do that too? Because it just looks... Rather than it being a little flat face like this, which is fine, perfect, beautiful, lovely. But, I don't know, just it, because I find it fun to do, that's why I'm, I do it all the time. Now, these are just faces floating in space. Don't you think we need some hair? I think we do. What shall we do? Should we do purple? I might, let's start off with Violet Femme, which is really light. It's a really light version of Jellyfish. 
and should we do fanciful or like I could do some soft hair where they both join in a love heart or I could um, we could have volume oh, I'm feeling volume oh I love that okay she's queen right okay and this is a, this is such a good sketching color and then maybe this can come into a more subtle she wouldn't have this much volume this girl would have more volume in her hair so maybe not as many undulations this one's sort of to suggest volume and they're just floating in their little cloud and then maybe i'll connect them here oh and you know what i kind of like it just like that just add a few little extras i'll take my um pen though and i'll draw in so this is shady lady the darker of the purples and because i'm dragging in in and out of the ink it's going to dilute the this make it a bit softer but that's okay and i'm going to get some nice little marks oh you know what would be great let's do it okay i'm going to get my ink to puss pen and i think i might dip into i might even dip in like a little pink highlight might be cute too so i've just taken that dipper out this is the ink to puss glass dip pen just going to dip that in there just knock the ink off because I've loaded that nicely put my lid back on always once you've had one ink spilling event it's really enough to keep you on your toes come on ink Oh, I keep dragging it through the wet ink so it's going to <laughs> misbehave itself. How funny. I'm going to need to load it up again. What's going on, little ink to puss? is the right one I think I might that little bit of pink's fine but I might go in this sun blessed just so I can take a little bit of this actually no it would be nice gold too I might even do a bit of gold just let I'll just that could evolve over time but for now I kind of like them as they are I can even use these to add in some little subtle lines as well oops very good for little eyelashes and things because this is so fine ink pens so this one's the butterfly one that I'm using they're all the same I changed it because how funny I the orange I didn't like the orange with my colors here so I changed my pen to the pink pen even though it makes no difference at all to the actual lines oh yeah I'm getting all these nice little fine lines okay so very nice Where are, are there some ink pens on that table out, the glass pens on that table out there, Gus? Okay, can I have those? Where are they? Okay, so, oh, I haven't really used my fountain pen. Now, what have we got in this one? Oh, this is Deja Blue. Okay, I better get on with things, am I? Sorry, I'm just having a bit too much fun here. I'm going to give her a little bit more fanciness how 
How's everything going? Okay, good. Oh, yes. Oh, our own pet birds. No. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, yeah, there's birds. Okay. What's the time? Oh, my gosh. I've been going for a thousand years. Well, I better get started on the... I'm just having too much fun and I think we get the idea. I think you get the drift of what, what's happening. And uh, this is the um, white swan pen. I'm using this just to add some little subtle shading. I could use my... Um, White Clouds Pastel Pencils, another one. It works nicely for some nice little soft details. <sighs> but I'm, I'm, quite, I'm very enamoured and we just have some nice little softnesses happening. Just lift that up a bit. Okay. And just to we'll stamp on some detail. I better move that out the way. So we've used our stencil and now I'm going to use the new stamp set uh, just to finish this off. How are you going guys? Do you want me to keep going or we can, I can do this another day, we can finish. I don't want to exhaust anybody. <laughs> Now I can use, um, I sort of feel like I might do, no, 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 I'll do this, I'll do this first. Now I can use the, this ink on my stamp, but I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll use my squid ink and I'll use, but I've lost my black. I already know that. Um, I, I had a good old look for it before I started with you today and I just, I don't know where it is. Glass pens and squid ink, they've both, um, oh, I just found my squid ink. <laughs> they've run off with each other. Oh no, that was wishful thinking, I didn't find my squid ink. Oh, but I nearly fell over. Anyway. I want to use black ink. Oh, okay. And my mum will be here soon. So this is a, a waterproof ink and I can't find my squid ink, but this is, I've, I've got something happening. Now, I'm not the best stamper in the world. This is pretty dry. We're not completely dry. But see how I, you know, I said, oh, the patching, um, you know, it was very patchy. This is that darker ink layer that I put on here. This was the lighter layer. Um, remember, I, I said it'll soften off, and it has. So, and it'll soften off even more uh, as the charm goes on. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to keep this paper that I used to spray with. Isn't that gorge? I'll be able to use that for something else. I love my little ladies that I just did. Now I feel like I've spoken for too long. And give a few little tippity tapos. And I'm going to stand up for this. This is Robin taught me that. And line it up as best as I can. We're not into perfection. Well, I'm not. Thank goodness, because uh, um, I would have failed. And I'm really trying to line just up the uh, face. I'm not going to get a perfect print anyway. I'm in a wobbly book. If you want perfect stamping, use one of those stamp press things, just a piece of paper on a hard thing. This is mixed media stamping. We're going to get what we get. 
It just gives a little bit of definition. You don't even have to use the stamp if you don't want to, but it just gives the extra definition. And then you've got the white little highlights and you've got these other little lines. And some people would just like to colour colour them in as they are. It just gives you a little bit of extra help. Or you could just stamp this and just paint in whatever you want. I'm just going to pop my stamp back. So I've got her eyeballs. That was my... And if I... Oh, yum, look, the lace is on there. If I spray that with water, um, I could press it on to another page and do something else. Okay, so what am I doing next? Let's use um, the water brushes. Oh, no, we're going to stamp. We can stamp. I want to show you the stamps. Where's the rest of the stamps? But I can use a smaller stamp block. I could even use this as a stamp block. I prefer the really um, hardcore ones, though, the nice thick ones. So it makes my life a little bit squeezier, easier. Yeah, so the collection you can find on my website at that's janedavenport.com. We've got bundles there. Um, don't forget if you get that collection you've got that set of the new washi um, tapes as well for us washi addicts and you can also if you're in the UK you can buy the collection on the creative expression site the link is in the box um, let's do this Ew. there's been an avalanche behind me it's all good I might go these eyes I don't have to do this in uh, black or anything. I can do whatever colour I want. But I might even go, let's go Rococo and we'll stamp with this. Now the trick is not to get it too, um, too much ink, just enough ink on the actual thing. Not, and also a stamp you've used before I find helps. If you just do this type of ink straight on a stamp, no. Um, and do a little... Do a little test print first. Perfect. Oh, deliciousness. Delicious. And if I have too much ink, see how I'm getting quite a lot of bit of water colouring. Um, oh, I've already got too much ink. I, th I think that'll be okay because it'll just look nice. Now I'm going to stand up over my artwork. And here, see this dent here on the face? That's that dip above the cheekbone that's where your eyes sit that dent is a different position for each person on the planet a little bit and the eyelashes I'm going to bring out over that dent a little for her and I'm going to give them a bit of a wiggle wiggle <gasps> we have our eyes we have lift off I'm going to just pop the rest of them over there okay now we give her some eyebrows so she can look more worried. So I've got a bit of concern about the planet there. This one, she's uh, in control of her destiny. This one, she's not too worried about anything. Could even turn her into a bit of a freeder if I wanted to. I might do these. And let's do um, a slightly less, we'll do tan fastic. I'm going to go for an orange brow, an auburn brow. In fact, let's get artistic. I'm going to put a bit of purple in there too. So this will just make its own little colour. Let's just see what we get. And I want to just li line this brow here 
I've got that little, that's just the side of the nose. Now you can move things around and you can see how changing things changes things, right? That's the beauty. That's why I did them separate rather than joined. Because if you bring the brow down, it looks very different to when it's raised very high. Surprise! She's got surprise, surprise. This one is like, what did you just say to me? She's And this is like, uh-uh, no you didn't. Like, they're different. We've got different emotions, so I just have to decide what what mood the drawing is in. She's just got mid mid eyebrows. Just stamp them off. You can angle the eyes. You can angle the eyebrows. So you've got one up, one down. We can draw your own nose or we can add a nose. I've got a couple of noses here plus the one on the face stamp as well, which we could just ink that nose up and use that as well. Actually, I haven't done that for a little while, so I might even do that. Where is she? I might do that. I'm not going to chop it apart. I'm just going to ink that bit up. And I'm going to ink it with, let's use um, Celebrity Skin. So Rococo is the darkest one. I use that for the eyes. Um, I'm going to use Celebrity Skin, which is the second darkest. Um, and then it's not a big deal. Like if I want to move things around, that's sun blessed. Oh, that'll be fine. Um, there it is. May as well use the one I want, right? Uh, so I'm not going to use these eyelashes. I'm just going to ink up this. Uh, part of the stamp. I want to use these lips. I'm just going to do a test stamp over here. Oh, I could test it with these eyes. Oh, I love. Okay, yes. It's just a little starting point, as all of these things are. Again, I'm just going to stand. And because it's clear, I can just have a little look. It looks different if I swing this way. If I swing this way. this She's got more of a Greek goddess nose, straighter bridge of the nose. This one, she's got more of a swoop. Um, I can have it up higher, different type of face. I can have lower. And because we're stamp, 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 oh, didn't, that's not the best impression, but... It's enough for me to get rolling with. I'm not going for perfect. I'm just going for a face. It's all good. Uh, I think what also helps the Skinny Dip ink stick onto the stamp is if I've used the um, Squid Ink or the other inks before it, like a stamping ink. This hasn't got the stamping ink on it. Um, I've cleaned it off. Um, so there's not as much ink can stick on here. The stamping ink's got in the formula, um, it's a bit more of a sticky ink. So it sticks onto the plastic of the stamps, if you know what I mean. Right, just gathering all my gorgeousnesses here. Oh, see, we could get a little bit fancy and do a little bit of a feather. Oh, and I've got this gorgeous little garden here too. Oh, I could, I could put art supplies in her hair. Doop, doop. I just thought I might give it just quickly, just just a quick little feather. Right. Might even do hot pink. Why not? I'm just going to see where we put this. Let's just see. Sometimes you've just got to move with the moment. Just move with an idea. Yes, there'll be contamination, but it's not going to be life-threatening for the stamp pad or myself, so it's all right. I'm going to do two little feathers. Oh, yes. She's not that impressed yet, but don't worry. I, I'm, I'm the stylist of the stars. I know what I'm doing. I'm just talking to her. Worry about things. Uh, a few questions about the 
Yes. Um, Tracy was talking about how much kind of binder to make watercolours into solid pads. Oh, just do the least amount you can. Just go, have your pigment. The question was about watercolour. Have your pigment, add a little drop at a time until you get it into a smooth paste and it's all mixed in. Every colour is going to be a little different, so it's better to work to the environment than, say, a, a particular amount. But kind of, but you just drop a little bit in, mix, drop a little bit in, mix. Uh, it's um, That's why I use the little um, colour cauldron. Uh, and then uh, whatever I've got left in there, I add water to and put in a water brush or a sprayer. And um, But I mix, it's just easier to mix things in um, the little colour cauldron or a little dish of some description. Um, yeah, so just add a little bit by little bit. If you add too much kind of binder, all you do is waste the kind of binder. It, whatever the watercolour, whatever the pigment doesn't need will evaporate. It might make the... Um, watercolour a bit more uh, shiny looking or uh, in like flatter because it's just more concentrated but when you go to use it it'll be exactly the same because the, um, the whatever's not needed will just evaporate so you're just really wasting a little bit of product so don't don't panic about it too much just work to the environment add a little bit by little bit and if you have honey or any of your glycerin or other things you want to add um, yeah, just little tiny, you know, we're talking about infinitesimal amounts. And if you're talking about any kind of shimmering watercolour, you don't need the other ingredients. You don't need the glycerin or the honey. Um, they make the water pan soft for no real benefit. So that's what I've found. So there you go. That's my, my wisdom. <laughs> okay. And question number two, thank you very much. Yes. Um, could you please explain more about the myth and monster class? How are your classes? Uh, the live streams are live when the class first comes. So when you go into the Facebook group, there are the live streams are still there. So this is a question about the Gods and Monsters workshop uh, in the life in the Facebook groups. Um, uh, but there's not continued live streams. The live streams are on my YouTube channel like this, or sometimes on my Facebook channel. I might use my uh, glass dip pen while I'm chit chatting. All right. And I'm going to just dip in. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use Sun Blessed. I love this colour. It's just got it's got warmth and it's got radiance. But it has depth. So, but not so much that I can get lost. So I'm just going to use a little bit on my dip pen. And just a little warm up on the side. And the gods, all of my online workshops have got, uh, I, I put a lot of thought into the order of the lessons so that one thing flows to the next. The joy of Gods and Monsters is that you learn a little bit about the different Gods and Monsters, the Greeks and then the ancient Greek Gods and Monsters, and I use them to help teach different principles. Um, a big part of that particular workshop is learning to draw from references, how to find references and how to combine references to then create your drawings. Um, the beauty of drawing from a reference, I love drawing from my imagination. The beauty of drawing from references from time to time, like I'm doing with my life, drawing classes or drawing like I did in the um, Gods and Monsters workshops is, um, it just, it feeds your imagination and you learn about faces and what's going on, not just what you think's going on, but what's actually happening. So you learn um, how that and that is a learned skill that um, being able to look at something and copy it and I teach you how I do it how I combine things um, we use all sorts of art supplies of course I'm using Jane Davenport art supplies but you can use whatever art supplies you have you don't have to have mine um, some of mine are a little bit unique so they might help a fair bit but at the end of the day you can use whatever you like you don't have to have it just need a bit more ink don't have to just use those um, so it's all sorts of different things um, if you watch the video that goes with it you can see the journal uh, we do um, exercises in symmetry with the uh, pots and that's really really fun workshop um, I put enormous 
uh, effort into making the lessons flow from one to the other so that you're building up those skills so that you're always moving ahead with confidence what i don't want is for you to try something that's just feels like it's beyond you i want you to be challenged because that's where learning lies but i want to um just help facilitate always that moving forward so that you feel like you're learning more and you're getting more confident uh, so that you're willing to approach whatever it is uh, with confidence and we've got all sorts of different creatures and um, not just gods and monsters but the people who the gods and mon monsters um, affected you know the humans us like Atalanta and some of those stories and how that how we can use those sorts of things I'm using the doctor ink uh, in these pens Sorry, the skinny dip in the Dr. Ink pens. And the ancient Greeks were obsessed with beauty and as many cultures have been, including our own. Uh, but, but, you know, everyone had their own rules as to what was beautiful or what was regarded as beautiful, um, you know, in the day. So for them... The well, it was the gods. They had these very like Prometheus, that very straight, proud nose. Um, the men would like, uh, you know, huge. Uh, they had great leaves for the nethers. <laughs> Not really. I think they tended to have it all hanging out. And it was all about the body, the you know, musculature. Even with the women, the, the muscular. Uh, people because they were off you know doing things bossing humans around etc uh, so we're looking at all sorts of different things and using the um, things that have been left behind that rich tapestry but it's mainly sculptures and vases there's just so much of that was left and the Romans ancient Romans were obsessed with the ancient Greeks obsessed so they recreated a whole lot and then in the renaissance um there was that obsession popped back up again this is why i love botticelli because he, he you know he had the greek you know, aphrodite venus and these other stories from a past religion uh, as part of I suppose it was an excuse to draw nude ladies really, or nude people, really. But because uh, <laughs> you couldn't be drawing the people, the, the, paint, the people they were painting of the day, Mary and Jesus and those stories, you couldn't be painting them nude. I don't think that would have gone down particularly well. Um, I think you might have ended up a little bit dead if you were doing that. So, you know, it was just a way of being able to incorporate a few nudie birds. We are very funny about nudity. I am too. No nudity anyway. But, you know, we, we are nude under our clothes and you do need to know what the body looks like. And it's really just a face with clothes on, isn't it? Isn't that weird? Aren't we strange? We are strange little beings, aren't we? Those animals have fur. We don't have fur. I'm just adding a little bit of highlight uh, here and there. I haven't really changed the face very much. I quite like her as she is. Just adding a little bit of highlight. And the pen, um, this is the unicorn, the new brush. So you shake this up uh, to activate the full opacity. I didn't really give it much of a shake. Now you don't press press like you would with a normal paint pen. You've got a special lid. And you press, press there to get more ink into the channel. Channel? Ew, it sounded a bit dodgy. Now add a little bit of light to her ear, a little bit of light here. And I've been using my Dr. Ink uh, and fountain pens. Where's my other one's gone? Oh, there she is. Love. So this is the 
technical tip uh, with the Skinny Dip inks. And this is the original Incredible pen. And you just, it comes with, oh. Well, isn't that weird? It didn't stop working though. That just sort of come disenfranchised. I needed a break. Okay, so I'm just going to, now look, I've got that ink like that. I'm just going to do a little bit of first aid. I'm just going to push that ink down. Uh, oh no, it's just going to pull the whole, oh no, I'll turn it upside down first and I'm just going to get some of the air out of there. It doesn't really make any difference. I'm just being pedantic. So I'm just pushing that little plunger and I mustn't have attached that properly, but it managed to work. So you just, it's a friction fit, just push it in. So I would have dipped that little converter in the ink, drag that up, suck the ink in, there's instructions. Oh, don't put it in the lid, Jane. How strange, because it was, work I used it before, it was working fine. Oh, it must have just happened, maybe, I don't know. Now, if this is still a little bit wet, you're going to get, you'll feel the drag, because the paper is still wet. So I can feel that a little bit. So it means that the, the, it's going to bleed out a bit. It's not going to stay a very fine line. So if you feel that, either stop and let it dry or work to the environmental conditions and realise, okay, I'm going to get a bit of bleeding. So where would I like a thicker line? So here around the lash line, you know, so I've got a bit of um, feathering of the eyeshadow. That could look really nice. And around here, so that... Um, can use that to my advantage rather than wait for the paper to dry because boring. So did that answer question? So always with my online workshops they usually have a little bit of a theme to them and I use that theme to construct lessons. Um, Sorry, my mum just sent me a text. Yeah, so you, I'm just, I just work to... Oh, I could stamp in some little freckles too. That could look quite cute. And I'm going to actually leave this colour as her lip colour, I think. That's going to bleed out a bit, I hope. Looks quite natural though. Got a little bit of imbalance in the eyes here, so I'm just going to goof that up. I quite like her. Who are you? I can change any of these little uh, bits and pieces that I like. And add a little bit more definition up into this hair. Again, if I put in some little scribbly lines, it says, just sketching, people. Nothing to... Oh, Gus, could you answer that? That's, I think it's essential energy. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm half listening to the conversation out there, rude. Oh, so where did I learn about this this sketching? Uh, is uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I, I was just I love his sketches, and he has parts of it that are really sketching, and he has sim like it's it's like I'm sketching, and then you know we think of it as being the most unbelievable, and it is most unbelievable drawings. But a lot of it is rough. It's not perfect at all even though we think of him as the greatest draftsman of all time. It's not perfect. Uh, and that makes it even, it all gives it movement. And he has areas that have got little, I mean, they're quite clearly a sketch. It's not, it's, it's not trying to be realistic. It's not trying to be perfect. It's just, it's, a, it's just, I'm enjoying myself here. I'm, I'm, I've got ideas flowing. So, her ears are burning. <laughs> If I want to knock that back a little bit, then I can. Mm, that 
that's too yellow because I've got purple here I really want a dead neutral just a little bit of um, paint pen or acrylic just to um, no that's still going to be too um, I want neutral 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 oh I wonder if almost this one yeah just so it doesn't annoy me I don't mind having a little bit of pink at the edge but Oh, and we don't really have any pink uh, on her cheeks yet. And I haven't done a pink pen. So why don't we add a little tiny bit of this. Um, actually, I will just use it um, from... No, I might use it. Pop a little bit on a palette. So I want it very, very light. And when we're, we're on watercolour, watercolour, so we are going to get a bit of wet on dry. Sorry effect but I want it nice and soft I want a clean brush and just going to add a little bit of and then just let that dry off I might even add a little bit of that but the more subtle the better and even a little bit of that pink into the eyes and we can still add a little bit of color into her eyes I'm going to add, we've got that, I might go green. And I'm using Body Double in the Brush With Fame. Just as the first thing, can let that build up to different colours. I can add watercolour over the top later or whatever. Oh, might actually add a little bit of magic. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, and look at this. Our laces are happening here. <sighs> there we go. Well, that is uh, the Skinny Dip inks in action. We can spray, we can draw, we can dip pen, fountain pen, every all the pens. Uh, we've got, oh, it's bothering me that I didn't put them in order. Just excuse me for a second. I won't be able to cope if they're not in order. Sorry. Rainbow Artists, it's just, it is what it is, okay? And they have to all have little faces. Oh, I didn't show you those little faces. Oh, they're in my, in my journal somewhere. I'll try and find them. Um, because I quite like those. Yes, on the little uh, bottles there. So we've got our 12 colours of Skinny Dips. Plus all of the new... Oh, that's what fell over earlier. Just hang on a sec. That was the avalanche from earlier on <laughs> uh, so we've got the always inking fantastic for swatches and so forth weather with you just a beautiful little walking girl part of our the story i uh, didn't really get to these much but the um wild ink set started a little bit of those didn't we did we no Done, I love these, one of my favourites with the little side chick. I'll just do them in another live. Uh, and then, of course, we were playing around with the new FaceTimes and the straight faced uh, stamps and the inks that you can put in all the different things. Uh, don't forget that on my website, uh, we've got that special gift for you. Can't wait to send the gorgeous washies out. <gasps> I love doing washi tapes. And I think that's everything that I needed to show you in um, yeah you can subscribe if you haven't that'd be great and let me just uh, I can see you up here I'm up here in the corner hello and I'm just going to check for questions um, oh Trace is receiving some of her new things today oh how cute are the little guys oh oh I can load another ink in there Just can't have enough. <laughs> uh, just putting my uh, things. And don't forget, um, with the stamps, if you've never done any stamping before, you will also need um, some stamp blocks. That's what they're called, stamp blocks. Um, so whether they're mine or from somewhere, you can use other things, just any flat surface that will allow a cling stamp to just cling to it. Um, sometimes I've used this, but the, the more sturdy, the better. So I only use my ones. 
Um, mm -mm -mm. Let me just have a quick little thing. Yes, we've got replays. I've got tons of lives there and tons in my Facebook group. I usually try and link everything back in there as well. So you've got a bit of an archive. Um, but yes. <sighs> Excellent. Well, Angus has been answering questions for me as we've been uh, going. So thank you so much. And again, you can find the things on, if you're in the UK, on the Creative Expressions website. And uh, as time goes on, you may be able to find them on uh, in different suppliers as well. It just depends if they get Creative Expressions and if they get the, the collection, you can always ask them and they might get it in for you. Or you've got everything at janedavenport.com, of course. Uh, where's my... Oh, look at that. It's so cute. So I had a lot of fun with you today with uh, creating some different little faces. And, uh, well, of course, we'll continue having fun with all the new collection and the new inks. And uh, uh, I wanted to get... Oh, I wanted to get a little bit of the... Uh, star power can you imagine <gasps> the iridescent because this is so glittery in here she's got a little bit of showgirl vibe happening serious showgirl vibe i think she might run all the other showgirls and yeah that um overspray just at the end of the ink just to give a few little freckles and things love it and then this will just keep um it's not going to give you like a perfect smooth like when I the way I did that pouncing creamy complexion is going to give you more like an actual person's complexion and I think that makes it just really interesting but you can just paint it and get a perfect complexion too it just depends what you feel like doing well thank you everybody for joining me it's just wonderful uh, to be able to do these things with you and have all this fun and happiness when the world is uh, in the turmoil that it is, um, that we can remain ourselves and remain creative and this part at least can be fun and colourful and joyful. Okay, I'm going to go.